Well, there are three um, main characters in, in Girl on the Page that my imagination ran to, pretty much. Um, there's Amy, who is uh, an, uh, an editor at, at one of the uh, most successful publishers around. She is extraordinarily successful. She's helped um, make a, uh, a kind of mediocre thriller writer into uh, a Lee child. Um, she's a kind of guiding force for that, and they've made millions together. Um, but her main obsession is writing and editing other people's work, so she continues on as an, as, as an editor. Um, she's on a little bit of a downward spiral. Uh, she broke the heart of probably the love of her life um, uh, and has taken off in a different direction since then, uh, kind of spiraling downwards with alcohol and sex. Um, and then she crashes into my two other characters, Helen and Malcolm. Helen and Malcolm are gorgeous, I love them. Two literary greats in their late 60s, uh, late 70s, um, um, kind of at the end of their careers and looking for pos posterity, looking at what, what's to come. Um, but one thing is that, um, that Helen um, has lived on um, a claim alone. So although they're very much um, admired writers, they didn't make any bucks. Helen wrote a book um, that was offered uh, you know, millions for, and she signed the contract, um, but um, Helen um, then regrets it because it's really quite beneath her, the book that she's written. And uh, when I bring Amy in to get the novel, because Helen and Malcolm don't really want to hand that over anymore, um, Amy's world crashes into Helen and Malcolm's world, and that's really where everything starts.